steveofprogramming.com and this is a video on how to get the most out of this Java for Beginners course. Um, in fact, the course I'm, I'm looking at here is the course on udemy.com, but um, my course is also finding its way onto other sites, so don't worry if you're looking at it somewhere else, and most of it's also on YouTube as well. So a lot of people have asked me for tests, and uh, at the moment the only test in the course is, uh, is a link to a test on my website that just goes over the absolute basics of Java. I, I may add more tests in future just because people want them, but what I'd say is that um, going through tests to me is not the best way to learn Java genuinely. Uh, so um, I want to give you a couple of ways of working through this course in this video and you can decide what suits you the best and maybe even combine the, the two. So the first way, and, and this is how I usually learn some brand new technology if I have no, no idea what to do with it. So for example, I'm, I'm um, trying to learn Java Spring at the moment. So um, this is the technique that I'm basically using. And that is that as you watch each video or, or for that matter, if you're reading articles, it, as you read each article, just try to apply everything that you learn. So everything that you learn, try to create a little program uh, that demonstrates that basic thing that you're that you're learning, and you can you don't have to type the exact code in um, that you're, you've actually seen. It's even better if you rearrange it yourself and do something slightly different with it. But try to get it to work, and if it doesn't work, try to fix it or try to see why it doesn't work and see how your code is different from what you've seen demonstrated. And as long as you you, you type stuff out yourself, it tends to stick in your head, and it because you see it working, that is the test in itself. You see the program working. And at the end of the day with a program, if it works, then it's good. You might not have written it in the best possible way, but uh, that's something you'll get a hang, uh, you'll get a grip on with time. And the important thing is just to get things working at first, just to type them out yourself. And by the way, you can kind of rocket boost your attempts if you use one of these, if you learn to touch type, by let's say using one of these programs that teaches you to touch type. Uh, I, I don't know any good ones because it's um, it's many years since I learned to touch type. And touch typing means uh, learning to um, type without looking at the keyboard basically or without looking at it most of the time anyway. And in fact uh, my, my mum was a touch typist and early on in life drilled into me the, the great usefulness of being able to touch type even though I was using great big iron typewriters at the time and it does stand you in good stead. It really helps you to program. Um, uh, it, it, it makes it much faster to learn to program and to get programs written as well, in my opinion. So if you search for something like maybe Amazon touch typing, I've never actually tried this before, but you'll find these programs. I don't know which ones are good. Look at the reviews. Maybe not this one. I don't know. But uh, you'll find these programs that can teach you to do that. So that's that's one way to, to go through this course. Just make sure that you type everything out yourself and get it working above all. Uh, get it working as a real program. And the second thing uh, I could suggest is that try to think of programs that you want to create yourself and then just do a, a lot of Googling and try to see um, try to find sample code that will enable you to put that program together. Uh, at the moment, I'm actually I'm trying to add a, um, a kind of simple example game to this course, but I don't know, um, I haven't continued that for a while because I'm still adding videos to the basic course as well as doing other stuff. So uh, I'm not sure if I'll continue this, but I probably will eventually. But this is the kind of thing that will that will really help you. If you can think of something that you want to write, then, and then try to write it. And even though you won't know what you're doing at first, uh, you can watch videos as necessary to help you and search for sample code on the internet. And you can you really begin to build up a, um, a good understanding bit by bit. And the sample, pro the, the kind of example program that you should write, above all, it should be something that interests you. And, and that's gonna be different things for different people. Some people really like writing games and there's nothing wrong when you've just started learning to start trying to put together a game. Some people uh, 
want to write, I don't know, some kind of serious business program that they can then sell. And that's excellent if that's really what motivates you. You could also just write programs that will, will help you yourself, like little uh, timers and things like that, or programs for working out your finances or whatever. And uh, another possibility is to write programs that model situations in the real world and help you gain understanding of, of the real world. You know, like for example, you could write a program that models um, a population of rabbits that are consuming food and reproducing and see how the population varies chaotically as time goes by, if that sort of thing interests you. And the thing to do is, is to break it down into different steps um, and kind of check each step. Actually, another idea that I'll quickly mention is um, you could write fractal programs and you're, you're going to have to get into creating user interfaces for this. But fractal programs are, uh, fractals are basically images that are created from simple mathematical formulas. And if you're artistically inclined, you might want to try getting into using Java for art, which is also like another thing you can do. So the important thing, whatever you choose, is to break it down into steps. So let's say, for example, I decided very ambitiously that I wanted to write a, a 3D game in Java, which uh, is just about the hardest thing you can do. But let's say that's what really motivates me. Then um, what you could do is first just search for some general tutorials in Java and, of course, use my course uh, wherever you get lost with the basics here. But um, search for something like uh, tutorial game Java, something like that. It's pretty obvious. And you'll find all these um, all these different tutorials. And you can add more search, search terms to make it more specific, like 3D or 2D or whatever. And initially, uh, with a game, for example, you just want to get something on the screen. So your initial challenge is figure out how to draw a picture or something on the screen and break it down like that. Test every step, no matter what program you're creating. Break it down into steps and check every step and, and each time make sure it's working and just look for sample code like crazy and you'll find a ton of it on Google. So never be afraid to Google for stuff. So this is how I learned to program myself. I've, I've never, I don't think I've ever taken any tests in Java of any kind, but if you just keep trying to do stuff, everything gradually comes together in your head. And ultimately, Java is not rocket science. It's not brain surgery. It looks complicated at first, but the complexity is really um, kind of all in one dimension. It's just a lot of information to learn and a lot of stuff you have to practice, like learning a language. But it's not kind of, it's not complex in the sense that it strains your brain. It will do at first because you're trying to see how everything fits together and you're trying to um, you're trying to absorb a huge amount of information. But if you just keep plugging away at it, either by going through videos and typing out what you see, preferably, or um, equally from trying to write your own programs, eventually it will stick in your head and you'll see that it's, it's not as difficult as it first seems. So that's it for this tutorial. I just wanted to add that because people keep um, asking me this question and, and this is how I learn myself. I, I wouldn't try to take a test because I think that would just turn it into a, a sort of hideously boring task where you're trying to learn stuff from watching videos that you have no real interest in and, um, and you're aiming to pass this test. And I, I think that's, um, that's a hard way to learn. It's much better if you can find some way of getting a little bit excited about it. it you know, get excited about what you can potentially do with your computer, whether it's something very small and useful or something potentially very big. Uh, so that's it for this time. And, and I'm going to go on now to add some more lectures to this course. So I'm still building it and I, I don't know when it will be finished, although the, most of the basics of Java are in, are in here now. Uh, but uh, I, I am still going to keep putting stuff into this. And until next time, Happy coding.